Hello, I'm Kevin. I'm Scott. I'm Allison. And we are the <laughs> French Toast Mafia, and today we're explaining our renewable energy planning and design tool. Okay, so first of all, um, this project's uh, going to help engineers and architects uh, develop developable renewable energy systems for a small area. So the first task, we had to choose three cities here. We decided on Boston, Honolulu, and Los Angeles. And the reason we chose these three were, um, first of all, Boston has a relatively low solar energy output, so uh, we could use that to compare it to the other two, which have a other relatively high solar output. Honolulu and Los Angeles are pretty similar as, as a solar output goes. Uh, Los Angeles has a pretty greater area, so we wanted to have those fluctuations so we could see different um, deviations between the two. See here that we uh, have the grid on top of the city of Boston, and we chose a uh, square area of 6,400 feet per grid square. And uh, we chose that because we figured that was going to be realistic, um, able, realistically able to fit our solar panels and wind turbines in. Um, so like I said, each grid square contains 6,400 feet, and we did all the math to uh, make each panel or each turbine fit and how many turbines or panels could fit in those grid squares. Um, once the size was decided, we scaled all the pictures to the same size for simplicity. And we decided on the smaller grid size because it allows for high customization of, from the user versus a, real, a bigger grid square. Um, where it would be a larger area and much more panels or turbines per grid square. Right now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run through of the program. So on the left we have our workspace opened up and for a first time user what they're going to want to do is open the file project to rice dyer dumbler. So go ahead and click on that file and this script comes up and if we run that we get the choice at what city we want to select. So for now we'll go ahead and select Honolulu and we'll notice that our GUI comes up and from here we can choose whether we want a solar panel or a wind turbine what company and what model we want so say I wanted a Windmax HY1005 I would go ahead and click that and put that corresponding wind turbine on our grid also we have our functions at the bottom we have an undo function and a clear all function so if you watch where I put this I'll put it in the upper right hand corner and then I hit my undo function and it erases that point also the clear all function if we click that it closes our GUI clears all previously created variables and um, from there we have a blank slate so moving forward um, if we have different points on here and uh, I'll try to make some obvious ones that we can look at later we also have our save to reload function um, so what that does is we click that it closes our file and we see now we've created these three files saved, save.fig and save.m so to open these what you'd want to do is go back to the original script, run it and hit load previous file. Now we can see that our previous points loaded on our grid space and we can also continue to place points on this grid after it reloaded. Now I'm going to demonstrate how our create bill of materials tab works so I've already selected all these points on the grid and then we go to create bill of materials and we'll notice that our Honolulu underscore bill of materials text file has been created and in this we see um, our file is organized by um, panels and turbines, quantity and total cost and at the bottom we have a summation for everything you have selected. Also as an option we've created our save to picture tab so if we click this we now have a picture called Honolulu Pick that can be opened in our finder and I open that in preview and we can see that it has the picture of where our solar panels and wind turbines were placed. Here's a demonstration of the save as text output function. So we'll click on that for a Honolulu GUI. 
and we'll see our honolulu.txt. So once the user loads their text file, then they get this file that says what the type of panel they were, um, that they placed, what row it's located in, and what column it's in. So getting into the while loop that we created that works for the grid, basically we use the gInput function, and what this does is it uh, selects, it finds out where you are on the picture when you click, and it gives you an XY coordinate. And then we have our if function, and the condition is that you click somewhere inside the grid. And then I created this function, which is x equals 5 times the floor value of x divided by 5. And essentially what that does is it takes the grid, it takes a grid and it puts you in the upper left-hand corner of each grid space. And from there, we use that to, on the fill function. So it fills the corresponding five pixels around that upper left-hand pixel in each grid space. Also, since one of the required tasks was to create a solar energy estimate, but it wasn't listed as a separate um, save output, we just created the solar energy estimate each time for the user, no matter how they decided to save their file. So. This is the text file that's output, output, and it's very simple. It just says in kilowatts how much solar energy was um, can be created in that city based on the number of panels and the type of panels that the user decided to place. So here's our code for creating the solar energy estimate. So first we have a vector that says how many panels were able to fit in a square of our grid and there's a vector created for because the number is different for each type of panel and the second vector is the um, power that can be produced in Boston per panel so if we just multiply our global variable a which is the number of panels we produced or that we placed by the um, power in Boston, which we got from our first project, and then times the number of panels that fit in the square, then it gave us the, um, the corresponding energy value in kilowatts, and we added that up for each type of panel so that we got a sum for all the panels and then we just created this to a new text file. And we put this code at the bottom of all of our save functions so that the solar energy estimate is created anytime the user saves their program. Every time you click, um, whether it's a text file or a fig file, what we did is we made sure that if a previous text file or a previous uh, picture or anything like that already exists, that it goes through and goes ahead and deletes that. So for example, this is underneath our uh, bill of materials, and if a, if a bill of materials already exists, then it goes ahead and deletes that bill of materials so it can create a new bill of materials.